Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to round a number to a specific number of decimal places in Grasshopper using Python. So we have already here an example. We've got a number with four decimal places and here we're setting the number of decimal places that we would like it to be rounded to. And uh, as I move this slider here, changing the number of decimal places, of course the result up updates over here. And it works just like we would like it to. All right, so it's not too difficult. It only requires one line of Python. It's fairly simple. And so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we'll start off by grabbing a fresh Python component here from the Maths tab. We'll feed our unrounded number into the X slot and our decimal places into the Y slot. And then we'll feed our A output here into this output panel. And we'll zoom in and we will delete this out component here. We don't need that. That's a special output used mostly for troubleshooting. So we'll go ahead, if you zoom in, you get these little pluses and minuses and you can use them to add or remove variables. And we can use those to remove the out component there or out um, parameter, they call it. And you can get that back if you ever need to get that back by right clicking on Python and then clicking on show output out parameter, okay? but we don't want it, so we'll go ahead and get rid of it. All right, we'll zoom back out. And uh, the next thing that we need to do is tell the Python component what types of data uh, to expect on these inputs. So because we're sending in a number that has decimal points uh, into the X, uh, X parameter here, uh, then that needs to be a float. So a float in computer speak is a number that either has decimal places or could potentially have decimal places. So it's a special type of data within a computer's, a computer's speak, if you will. Uh, to do this, we're gonna right click on the variable name. We're gonna come down to type hint, and then we're going to select float from, there's this long list of different types of data we could choose from. We're going to select float, okay? And then for the uh, Y variable here, we're going to be sending in an integer or whole number. So we're gonna right click on that, come down to type int, and we're going to set that to int or integer. Okay, now that we have set our data types for our inputs, we need to actually write the script. So we need to open the script editor, and there's two ways to do that. You can either right click on the word Python and then click on open editor, or you can double click on the word Python, and that will also open the editor. All right, so uh, normally you might need some of this stuff uh, depending on what you're working on, but in this particular project, we don't actually need any of this. So you can select all of it and just delete it. Okay. Uh, now we're going to type a very simple equation. We're going to set our output a equal to round, which is a Python function. And when you're writing a function in Python, you need to follow it with a parenthesis and then what are called arguments. So the first argument is going to be the number that we would like to round, which will be represented right now by the variable x. So we'll type the number, the letter x, and then a comma. Our next argument is going to be the number of decimal places that we would like to round to, and that's going to be represented by the variable y. So we'll type the letter y and then close our parenthesis, and then we'll click OK to close the script editor. OK, so uh, this is actually working just as we would like it to now. And you could actually consider yourself done at this point. So as we slide this uh, decimal places slider, uh, choosing different numbers of decimal places, the rounded number is updating appropriately for us, okay? Uh, so let's go over a couple of other things that you might be interested in. Um, in the future, when you come back to look at your grasshopper definition and you look at this, this might not be too helpful. You can leave it like this, that's certainly fine but you might want to use uh, more specific names for your inputs and outputs so that when you glance at this component, you can see exactly what it's doing, okay, without having to uh, open up the editor. Now, if you open up the editor, you can tell what it's doing uh, too. Okay, so the way we would rename these variable names is to right click on them, and then up here, uh, it's not real obvious, but if you hover over it, you can see that there's actually a text box here, and you can just uh, rename the variable there. So select what's in there and override it with whatever you'd like to call the variable. Uh, you should, uh, because we're, these are variables that are going to be used within Python, don't include any spaces. And I also recommend you don't include any special characters. 
Also, while Python variables can contain numbers, they cannot start with numbers. Okay, so I'm going to call this unrounded number. And instead of a space, I'm going to use an underscore. Okay, that's called snake case. And you could also use a camel case. So instead of a space, you could capitalize uh, the, the, next, the next word. Okay, you could do that as well. But don't use a space. Grasshopper will let you use a space because all of the other components, that's fine. But for Python and probably for C Sharp and Visual Basic, the other uh, coding uh, components that you can have, uh, since they get these become used as variable names within the code, uh, it's not acceptable. Okay, it just won't work. So I'm going to right click on that and replace the space with an underscore. And then I'll rename this one decimal places. And I'll rename the output rounded number but you can you can call these things anything you want or you can just not rename them you can leave them as x y and a okay now if we try to use this uh, we'll see that we get no results what's happening there is now our python code is no longer referring to the variables because we have changed all of the names our python code is still referring to the old variable names so we'll have to open up the python editor and rewrite this equation so that it refers to our new variable names. Okay, so our output is now rounded number. And we're going to set that equal to uh, round. And then our number that we want rounded is now being called unrounded number. And the number of decimal places is referred to by the variable decimal places. We click OK to close the script editor. And you can see now we have, it's still working just like it was before, uh, but we can just glance at this and see that it's taking in an unrounded number and decimal places and spitting out a rounded number. Okay, okay now there is something else that you can do with this and uh, instead of using a slider to determine the number of decimal places, and I'll just disconnect that slider for now. Okay, and you see now we have an error and that's because there's no value for decimal places. But we can right click on that and actually uh, come to set data item. And then you can just hover over it. You'll get this little fly out. Click in this little text box area and type the number of decimal places that you would like to use. So for instance, we'll type in two and then click on commit changes. And now two will become the default value for the decimal places slot here. So if you uh, put in a slider uh, you can change the number, you know, uh, here's one decimal place, zero decimal places, two decimal places, three decimal places. But if we disconnect the slider, uh, it reverts back to two decimal places because uh, it will just always default to that value that we uh, put in the set item slot here. Okay, so it just becomes a default value. And that could be handy if, if you want to use this perhaps in several sections of the code and typically you want to two decimal places, uh, then this is a good way to, to do that. You can set that as a default value. That way you don't have to always put in a slider. Uh, another option for you is to just not even have a decimal places uh, variable at all. So I'm just going to zoom in and I will delete this completely. Okay. It still looks like it's like it's working, but it isn't really. If we can maybe do something here, perhaps if we open the script editor and close it again. Yes. So that refreshed it. And now you can see that it no longer is working. And that's because our Python code is referencing this value, but it no longer exists. So let's go ahead and open the script editor. And what you can do is instead of using a variable here, is you can just hard code it in. So uh, for instance, if you wanted two decimal places, you could type that in directly, click OK, and it will round out to two decimal places. The only drawback on with this is that uh, if you want to change the number of decimal places, you'll have to double click on it, open up the script editor and change that value in there. So for instance, I'm changing it to one now and it's rounding out to one decimal place. But that is another option and uh, probably all of these options are fine because uh, it isn't typically something that's going to change a lot, the number of decimal places that you need to round the number out to. So hard coding it is probably fine. Uh, setting it in as a variable and then setting a default value is probably a good idea. 
and then uh, using a slider is also fine. So those are just all various options available to you if you want to use Python to round numbers out to a specific decimal place, number of decimal places. But all right, that is, uh, that is all there is to it. That's how you would do this in Python. Now you can do this using only Grasshopper uh, components and not using any Python. And I plan on making a video about how to do that sometime in the near future. Uh, so it would, it would not include any, any code at all. It would just be all Grasshopper components. But all right, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see all of you in future videos.